What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. DMZ season 4 is in full effect, it's been out for a few days and essentially this season reset everything for us except contraband weapons. We lost two of our insured slots, our mission progress went basically back down to zero because there's an entire new system. We lost mission items, we lost keys, yada yada yada. The idea from this series of videos is to get you back on your feet and we're going to go through each one of the factions and all of their associated missions. Now, specifically when it comes to the tier 1 missions for the factions, these are fairly straightforward and a lot easier than some of the stuff we see later so all of the tier one missions i combine into one video i did the same for black mouse and crown and today is white lotus's turn now i put this disclaimer in front of every one of these videos technically speaking you can complete these missions in any one of the areas that are in the game right now including vondal which was added in season four unless it specifically specifies certain landmarks or certain pois which are only on a specific map that you need to go to but of course i'll cover that if that's the case i will mention this white lotus their missions specifically target the ashika island biome and this map at the moment right now is super super hostile so i will warn you this as a solo player this map is really really tough right now with essentially always roaming kill squads of five to six players essentially hunting down all enemy players not playing missions anything like that so be forewarned things will be a little bit tough and i am super sorry for sending you to ashika island but it is what it is and it's what we gotta do so starting us off we have ashika recon this mission basically has two steps in it it asks you to kill five shadow company soldiers and it also asks you to extract one shadow company stb556 which is a one of the three weapons that this faction usually carries now shadow company is most prevalent on ashika island true you can find a shadow company on certain of the other maps but the point is you're also looking specifically for this weapon and this weapon has a higher chance of dropping out of the enemies on ashika island so this will be the first one that i tell you to go to ashika island almost all of the enemies are basically 99 percent of the enemies that you fight on ashika island are of the shadow company flavor so you just gotta whack five of these dudes and there's a good chance that one of these guys is going to be carrying the assault rifle that you need so simply grab that stb 556 as well and then go on and get yourself extracted and once you've done that this mission will be done and dusted our second mission is called fuel shortage and this one says that you need to siphon the gas from one vehicle on ashika island so here we go we're going back to ashika again and uh, obviously it goes without saying but you guys should be combining these missions together and doing three of them at a time or at the very least two it shortens the amount of trips that you need to make to the cancer that is ashika island and secondly it's just far more efficient so hopefully that goes without saying but uh you need to siphon the gas from one vehicle on ashika island and then you need to use a gas can in a vehicle through fuel now with season four they've changed a little bit the way how gas cans work so first things first obviously you need to find yourself a gas can so uh scrounge the area around uh basically i can tell you that if you go to the south of the map where you have a bunch of these work rooms and and everything even though there's also a you know a shit ton of uh of strongholds there there's a high chance that you'll find a fuel can there i was lucky to find one on the beach as you can see in the footage in the background but once you get one of these fuel cans traditionally how they worked prior to season four is that when you were in a vehicle you could open your inventory and you could click refuel on the can and it would essentially refuel the gas inside the vehicle and also consume the item it doesn't work that way anymore now so you'll notice that when you get onto a vehicle this can be anything i did a jet ski you'll see that you'll be able to refuel but you'll also be able to tap fuel from the vehicle into the can the can essentially becomes an item that you can carry around with fuel in it that's what this mission wants you to do so the first thing you should do when you get into a vehicle most vehicles when you get into them are missing a little bit of fuel at the top so fuel it up even though this is you know siphon first fuel it up and that's going to empty your can out and then siphon and that once you've done those two things your mission is done and we're ready to go next up is shadow company intel another one where we definitely have to go to ashika island because the first step here expects us to get the shadow company laptop from the second floor desk in the ashika science center now the ashika science center is this building over here and basically this is like a small little hospital and once you go into this building and you go all the way to the top you're going to walk to this desk area here this little security desk here that actually has the laptop on that you're looking for if that laptop is gone from there it means that somebody else has looted it already so just go ahead and get yourself extracted and come back again uh this is the only way to get this item so uh make sure that you get to this area as fast as possible to avoid being disappointed by somebody else already having snagged it up but once you grab this you simply get yourself to a helicopter extract 
and that'll be done with this mission as well our fourth mission is called air support this one is the first one that i can say at least you definitely don't need to go to a Sheikah island for this is that you need to acquire a kill streak from a buy station a supply drop or elsewhere so whether you are you know picking it up randomly off of an enemy that you've killed or you find one out in a box somewhere in the wild or you buy one which by far is the most straightforward then as soon as you've done that you will actually have this completed done and dusted now i will say this on a Sheikah island or if you go to al Majra, it is super super easy to make the amount of money i think it's 12k or 14k that you need to be able to buy a kill streak so without having to run around and loot too much that's by far the easiest way for you to get this so simply get to looting and and uh getting that money and then take it over to a buy box buy yourself the kill streak and you'll be done and dusted our fifth mission is called upgraded arsenal and this mission essentially expects you to use these crafting stations that are nearby buy stations this was added in season three a fantastic addition to the game basically what this allows you to do is pick up weapons from enemies that you kill and you can then go to one of these crafting stations and essentially attach any attachments that you have legitimately unlocked for that weapons platform so what i mean by this is if you haven't leveled up the mp5 at all and you haven't unlocked suppressors for the mp5 then it doesn't matter if you go to one of these stations with an mp5 because you will have not unlocked those attachments so you'll not be able to do it so be sure that whatever you're trying to attach a suppressor to in the first step of this mission is actually a weapon that you have unlocked suppressors for as soon as you attach that suppressor to the weapon you can then kill enemies with a suppressed weapon but here's the here's the trick it doesn't have to be that weapon with a silencer on so you can do these steps you know independently as well and in my case uh, i was already done with my six kills or my suppressed weapon kills before i even got to the box and attached the suppressor to the weapon that i picked up because i was simply using my insured weapon with a uh, suppressor on it so you can do these two independently i will also warn you that for some reason when you attach the suppressor to the weapon and you walk away it does sometimes not give you the prompt that you've successfully done this however once you extract out you will get this first step completed and this mission will be done our second last mission is commanding intel this mission has two steps essentially first of all expecting you to complete a secure intel contract once again this can be done anywhere it does not have to be done on a Sheikah like i did it but the point is the secure intel contracts basically what they expect you to do when you pick up a secure intel contract it tells you to go to a specific place in the map and it tells you to search for a laptop that you essentially need to basically hack now once you do that it's going to point you towards the nearest tower the nearest radio tower and you'll have to climb this tower and once you get to the very top of the tower you will broadcast this information that you've hacked it'll be a short timer that you have to wait up there while it completes and as soon as that's done the secure intel contract is done now an add-on effect of completing a secure intel contract is if there is a uh, uh if there's not a helicopter commander flying around on the map this will actually summon one this will make this helicopter commander appear if there already is a helicopter commander on the map then sometimes this will actually ping another commander for you like for instance if you are on a Sheikah, it'll show you where the trap master or whatever the fuck his name is the trap keeper i don't care whatever the dude inside the the, the main base it'll show you where he is so the point is that you need to be pinging a commander as well so you could also be doing these two steps independently uh as soon as you see that helicopter flying around and you'll get the audio warnings that you know the, you know he'll be blaring on his loud hailer telling people to get in cover and all that as soon as you see the helicopter flying around all you have to do is just ping that helicopter now, of course you can ping any other commander you can ping any other of the bosses in the game but this one is the easiest because sometimes he's just flying around without you even having done shit and all you need to do is ping that helicopter and as soon as you've done that and you've done a secure intel contract this mission will be done our story mission for the white lotus faction is an interesting one we need to go to a Sheikah island for this it's called lookout basically what this expects you to do is to go find an ir beacon and then travel all the way to the Ashika castle which is the main area of the map where the weapons case is and actually go plant this ir beacon there so first things first let's start off with where you get the ir beacon it says to the north of the map and specifically what you're looking for is this little island that sits right to the north of the northmost tip of Ashika island now the ir beacon always spawns in the same place it always spawns here and it only spawns one so you will be competing with other players to get this beacon 
uh something else unfortunately that i've also realized is that entire teams of you know four five six players grief this area a lot meaning that they've either done this mission already or they don't give a fuck some people just want to watch the world burn but these guys will essentially wait there until they see someone go out to the island with a jet ski a boat or swimming and as soon as you try to get the ir beacon they now have you essentially trapped on the island and they'll swoop in and uh you know eat you so the problem is that for this mission absolutely if you cannot get to this island i would say in the first two to three minutes uh i would say your chances of success are fairly low because either another squad would have already picked up the beacon because they themselves are doing this mission or you're gonna have dildos on the side of the fucking beach there you know being 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 awesome so uh if you are lucky enough to spawn to the north of the island race over there grab the ir beacon off the island as you can see here race back to shore and that is the first part of the mission done now the good news is um you only need to do this once to get the tick but also remember that even if you die now you will always have to go back since you need this item in your inventory so even though the tick is next to the mission if you die you will still need to go back and get another one it's not that the ir beacon is just like an item that you always have on you you actually have to have it in your backpack and once you do that you're going over to uh the ashika castle area and you need to get onto the roof of the main building in other words the highest point of this now there's a way of doing this that you don't actually need to be getting into too much trouble and that is essentially by going from the left side of the castle on this outcropping area here you jump across you sort of like get your parachute out and that gets you onto the side of the roof now all you need to do is just climb all the way to the top be careful though sometimes the wilson that's driving around will take some pot shots at you but you need to be climbing climbing sorry to the very very top of the castle and then you'll see a prompt that says place ir beacon as soon as you place that beacon the mission is going to be done you'll get the credit and that is you done with this story mission and we're on to tier two with the white lotus faction that also means you're done with the video thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far let me know in the comments down below if you found any of these missions to be more difficult than not i uh, i like the missions i did not like having to go to a shika island i'm not gonna lie the shit was stressful as hell but hopefully we can get you through this and it can get done so we can get to the next uh you know tier and we can start doing some of the other missions together also let me know if anything wasn't explained clearly enough i'll definitely try to make that better as well as let me know which other missions you might be struggling with and that you want me to add to the list eventually i will get to all of them but if i need to prioritize something i will absolutely do that other than that it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the world until next video fucking cheers